Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best tablets under $100 in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about these tablets, you can check out the description below. At number 5, it's the Amazon Kindle. Tablets are amazing devices that are perfect for entertainment and for some productivity. However, finding one under the $100 price is pretty difficult. I've compiled a great list for those that are in the market for a budget tablet under the $100 price, but while delivering great value for their price and not making a lot of compromises. First off, I have the Amazon Kindle, which essentially is an e-reader, but it's pretty cheap and it's great for readers. It has amazing brightness, very sharp display, and you can even listen to audiobooks from it. If you've seen any other Kindle model, you'll definitely see a large resemblance between this and the others. It really has the same classic e-reader look. It's a pretty small and lightweight device as it measures just 6.3 by 4.5 by 0.3 inches and weighs just about 6 ounces. It comes in two versions, black and white, both of which look pretty utilitarian and don't have some interesting or eye-catching aesthetics. There are no physical buttons on the device except the power button and for ports you only get a micro USB charging port and that's it. This is the latest model of the Amazon Kindle and former models had no lighting at all. It's nice to see that Amazon has added front lighting which works pretty well. It delivers a great reading experience and it doesn't drain the battery as much as backlighting would. It's not a very futuristic feature but it's certainly nice to have. It's worth mentioning that the front lighting makes the screen readable in every scenario from absolutely dark rooms to direct sunlight. It's also very easy to use and adjust as there are 24 lighting levels and finding one perfect for you is not such a daunting task. This display measures 6 inches diagonally and has a good resolution of 167 pixels per inch which makes it perfect for reading. The grayscale performance is also pretty good and the contrast makes everything easier on the eyes. One of the biggest features of the Amazon Kindle is its amazing battery life, as it can literally last for about a month. Well, it will depend on your usage, lighting levels and whether or not you leave the Wi-Fi on. But even if you leave the Wi-Fi on all the time, leave the brightness on max and read for about 10 hours a day, it'll last you for about two weeks without any problem. It has 4GB of internal storage, which is more than enough, making for a great e-reader. At number 4, it's the Dragon Touch K10. Dragon Touch may not be a household name in the tablet industry, but for many enthusiasts, this manufacturer has delivered pretty amazing models that have always been underrated and provided excellent value for their price, especially their budget range K10 model. This tablet has a 10 inch screen, good design, plenty of features, performance to back it all up, and it's pretty pleasing to use. Without further ado, let's take a closer look. The Dragon Touch K10 has a pretty exemplary design that's very aesthetically pleasing and very good for a budget device that's priced just under $100. On the front hand side you'll notice the 10 inch screen and slightly thick white bezel surrounding it, however it doesn't look bad for its price. On the back and sides there's a matte grey finish with some silver metallic lines to add an interesting effect to it. In terms of ports, it has a micro USB port, micro HDMI port, which was a little surprising to see, and the 3.5mm headphone jack to round it off. This device is equipped in a nice 10 inch IPS display with a good HD resolution of 1280x800 that delivers a great sharpness and pleasing viewing experience. It's not the best screen in the market, but it's just enough for your Netflix watching sessions. It's just amazing. It can get bright enough to deliver a good experience, but not enough for direct sunlight. The Dragon Touch K10 is equipped with a 64-bit quad-core 1.3GHz MTK processor that ensures a smooth performance combined with its 2GB of RAM. It also has 16GB of internal storage, which is pretty good, but can be expanded up to 128GB. It runs on the Android 8.1 Oreo operating system, which is very smoothly implemented into the device, and it works excellently. It can run most of the game smoothly, and overall I was very pleased with the performance. Combined with its solid battery life and fast charging times, the Dragon Touch K10 delivers the best bang for your buck. At number 3, it's the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7. It's a pretty safe bet to opt for an affordable tablet from a big-name brand such as Samsung, especially the Galaxy Tab A7. 
This tablet has a great 7-inch display, a good camera, a capable processor, and a good battery life, all under $100. It can handle plenty of multitasking, and you can watch all your TV shows on this affordable device. It may be a little old by now, but it brings a lot to the table. While this affordable tablet may make some compromises, in the design and build department, it has none. It's very lightweight and is covered with a plastic casing with a textured finish that makes it perfect even for one-handed use. On the front, you'll see that it has curved edges that further allow you to get a good grip. Apart from that, you'll notice the white bezels around the screen, which are pretty slim at the sides and a little thicker on the top and bottom. The device has a good overall build and it'll prove that it's pretty durable around the house. It's equipped with a 7-inch IPS screen with a 1280x800 resolution in a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. The pixel density is about 216 pixels per inch, which is pretty sharp for a display of this size. The display can get pretty bright and overall the viewing experience is pretty good. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 packs a spread trum system on chip with four Cortex A7 cores that can clock speeds up to 1.3 GHz. On top of that, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 processor, 1.5GB of RAM and an ARM Mali 400 MP2 graphics unit, which combined makes this a pretty reliable device for productivity, multitasking, gaming, leisure and many more tasks. During testing, I opened multiple tabs on Chrome and it had no difficulty going between them, making it pretty reliable and consistent. It's worth mentioning that the internal storage is about 8GB, but you can upgrade it up to 256 gigabytes. The battery life is pretty good and it's one of its strongest points as it can last about 12 hours on a single charge and it charges pretty quickly as well. At number two, it's the Fusion 5 Oreo tablet. Fusion 5 is not a popular name in the tech world and that's mostly due to it being a pretty new company. However, they've managed to produce some excellent laptops and tablets that are perfect for home and family use. The Fusion 5 Oreo tablet is one such option that delivers great compatibility, performance, Android Oreo 8.1 system, nice slim design and many more features that will make this your favourite tablet. This tablet is a pretty small one, having pretty small measurements and a weight of just £1.5 in total. It has a glossy black finish all around its plastic construction and it rocks some pretty good aesthetics. On the back, it looks like a high-end device, however, there is some branding that breaks the pattern and gives it a budget look. On the front, you'll spot the thick bezels, but overall, this device is pretty durable. Around the body, you'll spot the ports that include a micro USB port for charging, a micro SD card slot for increasing its storage, a micro HDMI port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack to complete the package. In its package, you'll find the charger, the user guide, and the warranty. It has a 10.1-inch IPS display with HD resolution and delivers a great viewing quality. It's pretty sharp and colourful overall. For performance, it's equipped with an MT8167 quad-core CPU with 1GB RAM and 16GB of storage and combined with the operating system, everything works pretty smoothly. A great device for a little price. The Fusion 5 Oreo tablet works perfectly. And at number one, it's the Fire HD8 tablet. Amazon's Fire HD tablets have been one of the most popular budget tablets in the market, as the company has managed to provide amazing devices with enough performance and the right features for in-home use. Take the Fire HD 8 tablet, for example, as it's under $100 and it has more than 20,000 reviews on Amazon. It might not be capable of running demanding games, but it's the perfect tool for watching your TV shows, reading and tossing it under the couch. For the price, you cannot find a better tablet Amazon has done a pretty perfect job. Despite having a pretty cheap price, the Fire HD 8 tablet still manages to look good, not sleek or refined, but a sweet and cosy device. It's pretty mediocre in terms of size and weight, and it doesn't have an ultra-wide display, making it pretty middle ground. It's marketed for in-home use, and for that purpose, it's extra durable, thanks to its sturdy chassis with hardened plastic, allowing it to withstand plenty of abuse. It comes in four various colours that are all pretty sweet, including black, yellow, blue and red, all cosy and great for in the house. I was really surprised by the display of this device as it brought plenty of sharpness, vivid colours and plenty of contrast in its 8-inch IPS panel with 1280x800 resolution. While it's not the best in the market, for its intended use, it's one of the best, taking the price into consideration. 
The touchscreen was pretty responsive and never felt cheap, without any input lag. To provide power for all of this, the Fire HD8 tablet rocks a MediaTek MT8163 processor with 1.3GHz clock speed and 1.5GB of RAM. These are some pretty weak specs when you look at them solely. However, thanks to the optimised operating system, it fares pretty well. The battery life is good enough, managing to produce about 10 hours of viewing time before needing a recharge, and it recharges pretty quick. The camera is also upgraded to 2 megapixels, which is not for taking beautiful selfies, but it's good enough for Skype sessions. Thanks to its optimised and modified version of Android, dubbed as Fire OS, this tablet makes itself for a perfect budget tablet, and it'll intertwine excellently with your other smart home products that are in Amazon's ecosystem.